Good morning, everyone. So we're moving ahead on our projects. I have lots of footage from the past few days of all different stuff, and I'm gonna put it together in this vlog. We have the wood chips coming. We have all different projects going on, and uh, that's why I haven't been able to upkeep the vlogging so much, but I'm gonna try. Um, I'm out now on a mission to look for stones to go around the rim of the pond. I've seen before some stones that must have led once upon a time to a path. These guys here, these must have led to a path once upon a time somewhere and they're not being used anywhere anyway now that I just unearthed and then you get to see all the interesting things that go underneath rocks all the ants I'm sorry ants and here's another one I unearthed and another one so we're gonna gather them up and bring them to the pond and repurpose them Okay, so I'm doing two things at once. I'm unearthing this, finding the stones, and I am watching the turkeys while they roam around campus, making sure that no one gets frightened and that they're where they're meant to be. So letting them have some exercise. I can't tell them apart at all, but I'm trying now the next few days to see which one's a more dominant one and which one I want to keep because one is going to go for Thanksgiving. They just flew onto the trees. This is what turkeys like. Look at that. Turkeys in the wild. <laughs> Shavua Tov. I'm coming out to check on the chicks tonight and see that everyone's in place because Mama, a summer was uh, not on her chicks for the past two nights. I had to transfer her. She goes up where she lays her eggs and she sits there. She doesn't go to her chick. Let's see if she's there tonight. Look at that. Huh. All the chicks on their own. Mama's not here. I'll show you where Mama goes. I'm not sure why. I'm not so concerned because they're warming each other up and it's not so cold yet. They're like really close to each other and they warm each other up. They like cuddle up in a ball. But still it's best if mom is around. Also for protection. This is where mom is hanging out. <laughs> right there. <laughs> when one of her chicks are with her. For some reason, every time there's an egg or she's laying, I don't know who's laying the egg, but she just comes to warm the eggs and stays here and doesn't go back to her chicks. But I'm just gonna pick her up and put her back in her chair. Her chick. Is there a chick? Hey, sweetheart. You're cute. She's mama's coloring as well. And now let's get mama. Here's your chick. Hey, that's your chick. Don't hurt your chick. You're hurting. Okay. There are two eggs in there she sits on. She still thinks she should sit on eggs. Okay, I'm gonna put you back with your chicken. Whoa, there you go. With your chick, go on. Go back in. That's it, chicks are waiting. There she goes. They're all excited that she's here. Okay, I'm gonna shut the light so they settle in for bed. Good night. Five minutes later, everyone found their place and everyone's cozy. Good night. <laughs> what we're actually taking out. I'm here in the 
the art studio and tonight we are making things on the Shabbos theme. It's the challah bake, it's the Shabbos project, yeah. So um, be because of this Shabbos project, they're having a Shabbos themed everything. So we are going to be making clothed esrogim for Havdalah. That's the first project that they're gonna be making. Um, I've been told time and again that I don't really want to use these estrogen. If you look at this, it looks like it's plastic. So the only way to get a, ve a vegetable or a fruit to look like plastic is if you spray it enough with enough chemicals to keep every single bug who even thought of coming close far away. That's the only way to get such a perfect look. I was told I don't want to use them, not in the oils and probably not dried in the soaps either because of this high spray content. Okay, we have our estrogen going on. Oh, that is so beautiful. Thank you. Wow, look at that. Good job. Thank you. Good job, There's another one. Oh, okay, we have to get a... a you need a border because it's too much without. <laughs> Put a, like a border down the middle, so this because it's too much without clothes. Awesome, clothes preserve it, and if you don't if you don't put in like all over, then this part might rot. Okay, so, okay, so put them you want you want to have it like basically around. This is our lemon tree that we planted, and I had a bean plant here come up because we once planted beans here the bean actually found the tree and is now using it to climb up using it to climb up and we have bee beans coming off oh, our lemon tree oh boy good morning everyone oh it's drizzling today all right um I'm out going to meet the ooh, raining wood chips truck. Let's go see what wood chips they brought us. I hope I asked for wood chips from like whole trunks and bigger um, le and b bigger branches because that way less plastic gets in it because their machine is so strong. Whatever goes in just gets ground up. So th they pick up a whole scoop. And if there's like little pieces, then it comes up with lots of plastic bags and bottles and and hoses and whatnot, and that all gets ground up together. And then I get that in my mix. So I'd really rather it be just plain wood chips from like trunks and branches. But we'll take what comes and we'll see what happens. First morning that I feel, ooh, it's cold. I should have brought a sweater. Or maybe I should have brought a, a coat or a jacket. Let's see the weather. That's the sky. But, yeah, that's here. Look at that. Mama stands watch and all her babies have a drinking break. When we talk about taking people under your wing, so it's literal. Look at this chicken. Keeping her children under her wing. Under her wing. <laughs> I love it. So many different um, phrases come from chickens. It's like a pecking order comes from the chickens. And under their under your wing comes from the chickens. There's so many other ones. I don't remember them at the moment. But let me know in the comments if you remember other sayings that come from chickens. The compost is already starting to work. See that smoke coming out of it? Because it has green material, it has carbon and, ni and nitrogen in there. And water, because it was raining. So it's just smoking hot. 
Anyway, so I really wanted to have full branches, but when I see here, I see lots and lots of sukkah stuff. There's lots of schach and lulavim because the, the municipality gathers that separately. So I see a lot of insight. So we have here schach from sukkahs that a mitzvah was done with it. All ground up. See that? That just came in there. That's part of a lulav. The green stuff. What's this? Ugh. See this? Thank you, truck. Thank you, municipality.